Hey guys, it's Emma here and welcome to today's video. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed a video or since either Bert or I have uploaded on this channel. Um, 90% of the reason is that is because we have spent the last two weeks in America, which was a really amazing trip. We flew out on the 3rd of March and um, we were there for two weeks and we got home yesterday after a long, long trip home. Um, we went to Orlando, Florida. We stayed in the center of Orlando at the Best Western Gateway, Orlando, which was right behind SeaWorld, really close to everything we wanted to do. We had the best time. We did everything you probably possibly imagine we did Disney World we did Universal most importantly we did the Wiz Wizarding World of Harry Potter um, we did the outlets we did the malls we ate a lot of food we did the Titanic exhibition we did the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum um, we did a lot we had a jam-packed two weeks Oh, the Kennedy Space Center yeah, jam-packed. So, as you could well imagine, during those two weeks, I bought a lot of stuff. And that is what today's video is going to be. It's going to be a haul of everything I got in America. Now, I don't know because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So, I don't know if I'm just going to upload this as bit one big long chunk or if I'm going to split it into two parts. Um, there is going to be a separate part anyway because I got makeup. So, I'm going to do a separate makeup haul entirely but for the rest of the stuff I don't know if I'm just going to keep it all in one video or just upload it as two depends on how long it's going to be so let's just get into it so I'm not going to do this in any order because I have like unpacked the suitcase and showed my family what I got gave them their gifts which I'm not going to include in this video um because I don't want to go find them they've already put them away but yeah, so no particular order, but I will tell you if there's a story behind something, where we got it from, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is the thing that I'm currently using, and it is this squishy cup, which I got from Universal Studios in the Simpsons part. It is huge. It is the perfect size for me because when I drink water, I like a big cup and I put a, like, fill it up to the brim with ice and then fill it up with water. So that's the first thing I got. So the next thing I'm going to show is the shoes that I got. Bert and I each got four pairs of shoes, which, yes, it is a lot. Um, we both got a pair of matching Nikes. They're just runners, joggers, that they're just plain black and then a silver Nike tick. They're really nice. So I got Vans. Vans are what I live in. I don't wear any other shoes. I wear Vans even when I'm wearing a pretty dress. I don't wear flats. I don't wear sandals. I wear Vans. If I'm wearing a dress, if I'm wearing a skirt... If I'm wearing a casual outfit, if I'm wearing a dressy outfit, I wear Vans constantly. And the main pair of Vans I wear are just the plain black ones, the classic black Vans with the black canvas and the black sole. Um, so these were $45. We paid $90 for them here. So this was $45 and they had a deal where if you bought one pair of classic Vans, you got a sale item half price. So... The sale item I picked out were these vans and they are just, they just have the white sole and they're mainly black but then they just have this awesome tie-dye print around the front there and they were on sale for 40 bucks so they were half off, I got them for 20 which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. And then the next pair, these were a pair that I was on the hunt for the whole trip, the whole trip. These were all I wanted, and I finally found them on the third last day, which was a mall that we went to and we weren't going to go to, which was the mall at Millennia, which I finally found them. And they are just the classic slip-on, but they are the perforated leather version, and they have the white sole, and I just, I love them. I love them. Dollar pair of black thongs from Walmart. So, I was very lucky, and Bert spoiled me a lot on this trip. And one of the things he got me was a GoPro. Um, it's not like the GoPro 3 or 4 or anything. It's just the base model. Just the GoPro Hero. And it's like, it's the black one. Um, still films in HD. 
because like let's be real I don't do anything outdoors like really so this is just going to be for vlogging and I'm very 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 excited about this the next thing that Bert bought me is a pair of Skull Candy headphones um, and they look like this they are just grey and green, like a neon green colour, and these were awesome on the plane. They're really, really comfortable to wear. And I wanted a pair of, like, because mainly I just have the in-ear ones, so I wanted actual headphones, so when I edit videos, it's a bit more comfortable. Um, we went to the Kennedy Space Centre, as I said. I got a cup. I have more stuff coming from this. We went to the Titanic exhibition, which was absolutely amazing. Um, Titanic, if you don't know, is my favourite movie of all time. I've been watching that since it came out. I was only four when it came out, and I've been watching it since because um, my mum loved it, and my auntie loved it, and my cousin loved it. So it was always on. It's my favourite movie of all time. So it was amazing to me, and I went a little bit, not crazy in the gift shop, but I got some awesome things. I got another drink bottle. It is just an RMS Titanic White Star Line boarding pass replica um, drink bottle and it's nice and big as you can see uh, I think this will be the drink bottle that I take because I've started a new fitness regime so this will probably be what I take to the gym because it's a nice big size easy to drink from and it's got the straw and I also got these are reprints of the newspaper articles that surrounded the Titanic's voyage So I thought that was really interesting and awesome and I intend on framing some of them. Then also at the Titanic exhibition you could get your picture taken on the grand staircase which we actually got to walk up the stairs and see the roof like the um yeah if you've seen Titanic you know what I'm talking about but when it sinks and it all breaks oh it was incredible. And um, this was the picture that we got taken because I wanted to replicate the scene where Jack, when Rose walks down the stairs and Jack grabs her hand and kisses her hand and then he goes, I saw that at Nickelodeon once and I always wanted to do it so that is what we did, we tried to replicate that. And then we also got a picture taken at the front of the boat where, you know, the classic scene, I'm flying Jack. So we got a photo taken there as well. Like I said, I'm just going to pull random stuff as I go. Um, I went to Torrid, which was awesome. If you don't know Plurid, to Plurid. Torrid is a plus size clothing shop. I didn't find as much as I expected. The one that I went to was, it seemed really small and it was like quite expensive. Like not as expensive as here, but still like not where you could buy like tons of stuff. So the first thing I got was just this dress. It is black and white stripes up the top and then it's just a black skirt. Kind of fits like, it fits and falls like a skater skirt. It looks really nice on and it's a really nice length. And from there I also got some tights. Um, I just got a plain black pair and when I seen these I had to have them. They are cat tights and I love these. I always used to see them um, but they never had them in plus size but now I have a pair which is exciting. And the last thing I got from Torrid was the one thing that I seen online that I desperately wanted. And I wanted the skater dress version of this also, but they didn't have it. They only had the skater skirt version. So this is just a perforated leather skater skirt. Sits just above the knee and it's just, it's really nice. So I got a walking dead shirt from Universal Studios, which was really weird, but I was happy for it. And it just basically says, warning, we are all infected. And it has a heap of zombies and then it says it's a walking dead down the bottom. Then I got a shirt from when we went to the mall by Bat from Bad Acid. And it says Born Surfing and it is a skeleton hanging 10 on the beach. I got something from Lane Bryant I think it was. They are just a pair of charcoal skinny jeans. Bert and I both got one of these. They are Star Wars collectible figurines from Disney World. Then from Hot Topic, I got a pair of tracksuit pants that say Gryffindor, which this, oh, these were the last pair left and they are, they're only a size large and normally I need 
well, I wear a size 22, so um, obviously a large at like a regular clothing store doesn't normally fit. But I was looking at it and I was just like, oh, I wonder if I can make them work because I wanted them so bad and they didn't have any more. So I went into the changing room and they actually fit. They're a bit tight around my belly, but apart from that, they fit really nice. They still flare out at the bottom. They're not too tight. So I was very, very excited about that. This was just from a touristy shop. It's another shirt. I got a lot of shirts. Um, it says, Bert has the other half. We got a few matching things, but he has the half that says best. And I have the half that says buds. <laughs> and oh, I got a pair of um, leggings from Lane Bryant as well. They're just a black leather, black legging. And then they ha just have a zip detail down the side. And I got a shirt from the Titanic exhibition as well. It just looks like that. Just simple. Surprisingly, I didn't get much from the Harry Potter shop, um, from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, mainly because most of, most of the stuff I wanted was fragile, which isn't really the best thing when it's something you're so obsessed with to try and bring back on three flights to get home. It was either fragile, too big, or... Yeah, that... It was, it was just either fragile or too big. Um... So I didn't get as much stuff of, as I would have wanted. But I still got a few things. I got a pygmy puff, but I don't know where it is right now. But it's just basically a big ball of fluff. If you know what, if you've seen Harry Potter, read Harry Potter probably, you'll know what a pygmy puffy is. Then I got a shirt that said, it's maroony red. And it's just got nine and three quarters on it. And I got a jacket, which I'm very excited about and I think this is going to look awesome in winter with my tracksuit pants that I got but it's just the Hogwarts crest on a black jacket it's really really comfortable I wore it on the plane home it is great I got a wand because you can't go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter go into Ollivander's and not get a wand um, I would have loved to have got Lucius's wand um, because his is the wand and the walking stick and he pulls it out. Um, I thought they were just going to have the wand bit, but they didn't. They had the actual walking stick. And I was so... It was a 100 bucks, and I would have happily paid that. But how would I have got it home? <laughs> and I was so devastated because it's so awesome. Um, but alas, I couldn't have it. So I just got the Elder Wand. Which technically... It is Harry, Voldemort, and Dumbledore's wand. So I'm killing three birds in one stone with this. But I think this wand is the most recognisable. Um, I mean, you don't really see much about the other wands. Probably Harry's wand, but it's just... They're just wands. It could be anyone's wand. Like, you don't know. And everybody knows this is the Elder Wand. And this is what I wanted. So, yeah. And I think these are the last two things I got from there. Of course, I got a chocolate frog. Um, I am going to eat it. I just wanted to wait till I got home to eat it. Um, I wasn't going to eat it, but then I was just like, well, what's the point in the frog, the chocolate just sitting in the packaging? I can just keep the packaging. So I got that. And then I also got a pack of fizzing Whisbies. So the next thing I got was a shirt from Universal in the Simpsons section. And it is... Homer saying you don't win friends with salad and I thought this shirt was so funny because I love that part of the Simpsons the you don't win friends with salad song then I got a toothless top from Hot Topic because it's a fucking toothless top and it's just got toothless on it and it's red and it's awesome and I will have already given this to him by the time this video goes up so I can show you I got my best friend Nick a matching one because <laughs> we both love Toothless. From the Kennedy Space Center, I got this shirt. It is just a black shirt. Hold If I hold it the right way. It says Atlantis, which is one of the rockets. Um, which The space shuttle, not the rockets. Then it's got um, facts about it. Next, from Hot Topic, I got a Daryl Dixon shirt, of course. It's just got Daryl Dixon on it with... Angel Wings and says Dixon. From Disney World in the Star Wars section, I just got this Stormtrooper shirt. It's just got a Stormtrooper and then a black collar and black bits around the arm, which I thought was cool and unique. 
The next shirt I got was is a touristy shirt. Um, it's an Orlando shirt and it's tie dye and it's amazing colours. I just loved the colours of it mainly. The purples and the pinks. It's so vibrant. I just thought it was awesome. Next from Hot Topic, <laughs> another shirt. Surprise, surprise. I got a Targaryen shirt. Just thought it was really awesome. It's so soft and it's really stretchy too, which is awesome. And we went into this random toy shop and I have not seen this anywhere in Australia yet, but it is a Daryl Dixon pop and he's on his chopper. And holy shit, this is awesome. I collect pops if you don't know, um, mainly just Game of, I'm looking at them over there, mainly just Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead ones. So I had to have this. He was 36 bucks, which is expensive for a pop, but he is awesome. I'm obsessed with this. I'm so happy about it. Next, Bert bought me a per perfume, which I've put back in the box backwards. It is Nicki Minaj's Menagesty. Um, it smells so good. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like, it's really, really sweet. I got my friend Nick an Atlantis shot glass from the Kennedy Space Center. And I got, now we went on a hunt for this frigate alien. Um, and I said it at the start of the day and he was sort of expensive. How much was he? $23. And I was just like, oh, I'll wait and see if they have a small one. Didn't find a smaller one the whole day. And then we were, we were literally at the gate to leave. I was like, I have to go back. I need the frigate alien. So we walked around for another half an hour so I could go back and get the alien. But I'm so glad I did because I knew I would have regretted it if I didn't get him. Next, from Bath and Body Works, I got... I didn't get any candles because um, my friend Alex, she gave me some money when I, for when I went over so I could get her some candles from Bath and Body Works. And if you don't know, they are three-wick candles, so they are fucking heavy. So I didn't end up getting any for myself. But I did get a few body products. I got the Wild Madagascar um, Vanilla Body Lotion. Um, it smells really good. Then I got three body splash things. I got Beautiful Day, which I wanted because I seen Zoella get this for a gift. And I was just like, oh, I'll go smell it. And it actually smells really, really freaking good. It just smells sweet. I like sweet scents. And then I also got white citrus, which Bert picked out because he loves citrus scents and he really liked this one. And then I also got Love and Sunshine. I got a shitload of Star Wars Pez dispensers for gifts for my friends. Most of my friends really like Star Wars, so I'm going to give them as gifts. Got three of my closest friends. They all got a Florida shot glass that has a weed leaf on it, which... It's just my type of humor. I don't even smoke weed. But I got a pair of NASA oven mitts for Bert's mum, Leah, because she was so jealous that we were going to the space center. And Bert already got her a mug because I wanted to get her like a mug or a cup or something. So I seen these. I thought they were funny and cool. So I got her those as well as a space center keychain. I got a five pack of Slytherin socks, but I don't know where they're all, they've all disappeared to, but they're just little ankle socks. Oh, this was the other thing that I got from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I got a cup set. Um, I had to take them out of the packaging because the packaging was like this big and nothing else would have fit in the suitcase. But obviously it's just Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Gryffindor tumblers. Which I'm going to pack away until Bert and I get our own place because as you can tell I've got a lot of cups already. This was another cool thing that I got. It is actually the medals... Um, from all the Apollo space shuttles from the Kennedy Space Center. Um, I thought this was amazing. It's, um, it says on the back, America's most ambitious manned space program consisting of 11 flights. Apollo 7 was boosted into orbit by an upgraded Saturn 1B rocket and the other 10 Apollos were orbited by a Saturn 5 launch vehicle. And then it just tells you on the back, um, the names of everybody that flew in those, um, shuttles. The next thing I got from Bath and Body Works were the hand sanitizers because I hear everybody talking about them. And I'm actually missing one. I don't know where it is. But I got Hey Honey Bun, Cupcake Sweetie, another Cupcake Sweetie because it's not really good, and Strawberry. And I had one more, but I just don't know where it's disappeared to. Um, the next thing I got was a Triple H Pop because he's my favourite wrestler of all time and I've never ever seen 
WWE Pops and I thought he was really cool so I had to have him. The last few non-edible items I got were a NASA space bear in a space suit, a Mickey Mouse hatted Yoda, some Odd Future Donut Socks and a Minnie and Mickey dish towel pot holder and oven mitt set for when we move out because I thought this was really sweet. The rest is a few food items. So I've got a huge ass bag of peanut butter M&M's because these are my favourite M&M's and you can't get these here. Two packs of Pixie Sticks because I love Pixie Sticks. It's just pure sugar. They are great. British Fish, which are just red gummy candies. Four packs of Peeps <laughs> because you can't get these here either and they are pretty amazing. Um, they're really um, They're just marshmallows coated in sugar because, you know, Marshmallows needed to have more sugar in them. Then the last three things I got were Pop Tarts. And I got chocolate chip cookie dough, chocolate chocolate peanut butter, and confetti cupcake. And that is mostly everything that I got. There are probably like a few things missing, but yeah, that is everything I got from America. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video.